Hey 102, I'm sure you guys have heard through our phone tree or by looking at the announcements, but we're getting combats, also known as FQs, our field training uniforms. They are going to be a mandatory part of our uniform, and everybody is going to be required to send in their measurement sizes. The information is available on the website, and right now we're going to be showing you how to properly do the measurements. You're going to ask, have to ask a family member for help, so please be ready for that. And I'm so excited for your FQs, and I hope you guys are as well. There's a form like this that can be found on the website, and that's where you're gonna go for any information about the sizing. In case you have any questions, we're gonna show you right now how to properly do it. But if you have questions after, the supply officer's email is gonna be on the website, or you can ask questions in these Zoom calls. We're gonna start with measuring the cadet's height. So what we ask is to start with no shoes on. Heels are gonna be together, and you're gonna have your back straight against a wall. You're gonna have your head against the wall when you're getting measured. And then the person who's helping you is going to have a flat object that is going to be against, against your head. And that is how they will be able to put a marking and then measure the marking. Here's Susie Prefontaine to show you her taking my height. Hello everyone. I'm going to make sure that we don't draw on the actual wall. So I'm going to put a piece of a post-it right behind Warren Officer Prefontaine's head here. I'm going to use my rigid object making sure that it's 90 degrees. We don't want it too high or too low. We want to get it as close to straight as we can. Then I'm going to make a mark on the wall. Once we have that, we're just going to measure from the ground up with the tape measure. Once we have her type, we're just going to record it in the Google form that's available on the website. Next, we'll be doing the chest measurement. To start, the cadet that's getting measured will have their hands above their head and then the person that's measuring is going to be putting it around the widest part of the chest. The cadet is then going to lower their arms and the measurement will be taken. And here's the example. Arms up please. Thank you. So we're going to go around the widest part of her chest making sure that the tape is parallel not lower in the back or higher in the back. So parallel and the widest part of her chest. Once we take a measurement here we're going to copy that down on the form. Next, we'll be doing the required waist measurement. For this one, I hope everybody remembers the little teacup song because you are gonna have to do a teacup bend. So here's Prefontaine to show our example of the waist measurement. So we're gonna ask to do the teacup and that will help us find the natural part of the waist. We'll use that to wrap the tape around and we'll ask her to stand up straight. We'll pull away all the excess clothing here and once we have her, we'll mark that down on our form. And our final measurement that is required is the feet measurement or the combat boots. For this one, this is the only measurement that is in millimeters, so that's super important and will be in the instructions. All of the other measurements are in inches. For this one, you're going to require two pieces of paper and you're going to try, require a flat edge object like a ruler, a piece of cardboard, anything like that. And you're going to be marking the longest part of the toe, heel, and the widest part of the sides. And we're going to do a quick video demonstration of that as well. Okay, in order to do this measurement, we're gonna have the cadet standing up straight, foot flat on the ground and feet close to each other. And we're going to take the longest part of the toe and make a long line across. We're gonna do the same at the back for the heel at the furthest part, a long line across. For the width, we're gonna to go to the widest part of the foot, and lining up our ruler there. The widest put up part of the other foot, nice and straight there. When she removes her foot, we'll be able to take a measurement here. So we have just over 25 centimeters, which would be 250 millimeters for the length. And then for the width, we'll do the same thing. And we have 10 centimeters, which is 100 millimeters. So the mark, the measurement that you would be sending in would be 250 for the length and 100 for the width. What you'll do is measure both feet, take the length, the longest part of whichever foot is longer and use the wider part of the foot as well. So we have the longest length of the foot and the widest of both feet. Thank you. Just to recap everything for you guys, we need a height measurement, chest measurement, waist measurement, as well as both feet because they can be different. I'm so excited for our whole squadron for getting combats and I hope you are as well. 
Just a reminder, it is mandatory for everybody to send in their measurements. There will be a Google Drive posted later on Monday night for you guys to do this week. All the other information is on the website as well as the form with the measurement information. If you have any questions, the supply officer's email will be in our announcements and they'll be able to answer them today. Please let us know if you have any questions and I'm so excited for the combat. Thank you guys.